I know that I've told you that I had this uh, social experiment that I wanted you guys to try. What I'm going to get you to do, Victoria Rose, is to take pictures of Adam and create a profile for him. Adam, you'll do the same in reverse. You'll create a profile for Victoria Rose. And I want you to spend a week pretending to be the other person. So when you say pretend to be him, is the aim to pick up? Definitely. So you're both back on the dating market as each other, just seeing what kind of options are available for you. Prince quiz, guys. We know that women are going to typically going to get a lot more matches than a man. So we're going to say how many more matches will she have than him? And this is a one week swiping experiment. All right, so she built a profile for him, he built one for her. How many more matches will her profile have than him? In the chat, you can put an A if you think it's gonna be twice as many, B if you think it's gonna be five times as many matches, uh, C if you think it's gonna be 10 times as many matches, and D if you think it's gonna be 20 times as many matches. So in the chat, A, B, C, or D, She thinks you are replaceable. This is from Alexander Grace. You guys might have seen his YouTube channel before. I'm subscribed to him. The social experiment is my boyfriend easily replaced. All right. <laughs> to give you guys some background about, you know, what we're about to see here. So when now that you've heard the experiment, what are your predictions? What do you think is going to happen? Every match you get, I'll get 10 at a minimum. At a minimum. Yeah, but will you be able to keep them pretending yes. to be me? <laughs> so easy. <laughs> It's so easy. It is a million times easier for a girl. He might get more matches, but I hope that I get more, uh, like, confirmed dates or connection or something. I'm still me and I've got that feminine outlook and hopefully that will help. <laughs> Do you think that you're going to be good at being a man, Victoria Rose? I don't think I'm going to be good at being a man, but hopefully I'm going to be good at picking up women as a man. On the whole, you guys have just a normal relationship. There's no massive outliers. You guys have a relationship of equals. Yep. I'd say so. Yeah, like it's grotesquely perfect. <laughs> In a week's time, we'll... Yeah, I'm not letting that one slip by either, guys. I'm not letting that slip by. All right. And I like this guy, this guy here. Well, his name's Adam too, so you know, he's obviously a cool guy. Um, but you know, right? So I'm I'm feeling bad. It just obviously, I don't know exactly what's going to happen in the future of their relationship. But even listen to this part, right? About okay, and then and look at her face. Have just a normal relationship. There's no massive outliers. You guys have a relationship of equals. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, like it's grotesquely perfect. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the face that she says. It's grotesquely perfect. Look, look at her face. That's not that Disney princess. Oh, look of admiration that we are told, right? That when she falls in love, that's what it's going to look like. Look at that face. It's grotesquely perfect. Guys, what does this tell you about women? Well, again, Women are like cats. You got to always keep them engaged. You got to keep their emotions gauged because engaged because if she gets bored, she starts looking for trouble. Okay, think of a woman as a cat that just got a new toy. The minute the cat has figured out how the toy works, it gets bored and moves on. Curiosity killed the cat. Boredom kills the date. So again, right? The thing that we're told that women want that security and resource and all that and the guy that will just love her and <laughs> love her unconditionally, right? That's what every guy is told that is the winning game plan. That's like the the blue pill conditioning. Yet when it happens, yep. I'd say so. Yeah, like it's grotesquely perfect. <laughs> it's grotesquely perfect. When it's when it's going good, when you're giving her everything we're told you're supposed to give her, it's grotesquely perfect. She gives that face. She's looking for drama. She's looking for something to spice it up because she's now bored, which again, we can sit here and be like, well, we think he's like, she's even saying that he's the perfect boyfriend and she's bored. This is why women always want the bad boys. The bad, they can't figure out the bad guy, the bad boys. The bad boys keep them guessing. They keep them on their toes. They can't 
wrap the bad boys around their fingers, so they're constantly curious. Call and we'll talk back like this and we'll go through it all together. And we can discuss it with each other? Yes, no, I want you to be discussing it as you go. So don't keep it a secret. I very much want you to keep informed and then feel free to make changes based on those discussions. Just keep us like as part of your journey. Yeah. I like it. I'm prettier than you. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> these, these are these little shots she's taking. I'm prettier than you. Like, okay, all right. You, you just got to challenge me, don't you, on everything. I want to wish you the best of luck. I can't wait to see how it goes in a week. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Right, bye. They took that really, really well. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I am absolutely fascinated to see what this is going to do to their relationship. Let's check back with them in a week. <laughs> First little swiping session done. I ended up with 19 matches and Victoria Rose ended up with... Three. But Casey is very interested. All right, pause just because I saw this in the chat. She is swiping is her boyfriend. He's swiping is her. So he is playing her. He's being her. She's being him. They're, they've made a different a, a profile for each other on their own phones. So they're, he's pretending he's a girl, her. She's pretending that she's a guy, him. And we're seeing who has like more matches and how, you know, how it goes. It's been about 15 minutes in total. Right now I'm on 69 matches and I seem to be matching with almost every second swipe. It's about six matches so far. Righto, so we just started swiping. It took two minutes and four seconds to get an extra 31 matches. Holy cow. Oh, sorry, there goes another one. This would never, ever, ever, ever happen as a guy. So, update. How many matches now? How many you got? Three. So, who's winning right now? You've got three. I've got 101. My gorgeous photos are winning. I think it shows that girls have it slightly easier. Use all my swipes and I have to go on from 185 matches to 308. Matches 10, but that's just new. New plus, so 13, I guess. Right. So 13 versus 320 in the same time span. I have 320. 320. Wow. <gasps> Oh my god, 320. My head is gonna get so big, I'm not gonna be able to get out of this apartment. All right, just look at her face. Look at the way she looks at all of these matches that she has, these potential. She doesn't look at this guy, Adam, like she looks at her potential matches that she had here. Look at her eyes light up. Look at this 320 in the same time span. I have 320. 320. Wow. <gasps> oh my God, 320. My head is gonna get so big, I'm not gonna be able to get out of this apartment. All right guys, that look she gave, this is perfect. It puts right into focus something like this. The hypergamy she-hulk that we've talked about before. This internal battle for women. Okay, think of a woman, when we say that has really high standards, she's like, oh man, I got such high standards, or she's been on the CC, she's been dating around, sleeping around, so she has extra inflated standards either way. It's a constant battle, like the Hulk inside, right, to, for, to fight this internal desire to act on her hypergamy because of the fear of missing out. She's hearing all these potential matches in her hypergamy. Look at it, it's like, it's almost like a demon. Look at this. It's like a little She-Hulk demon. <laughs> Watch her get demon-possessed by the She-Hulk here. Her hypergamy takes her over for about six seconds, and you see that she's no longer thinking. This is her She-Hulk demonic, uh, like, 
like little critter coming out. Watch, watch it again now, and just just look for that thing right there. Here comes She-Hulk. Wow. Right here. <gasps> oh my God, they're going to enjoy it. My head is going to get so big, I'm not going to be able to get out of this apartment. When we've talked about monkey branching before, or when a woman will leave you for another man, it can happen for a lot of rays. It can happen as the guy's making mistakes, he's not holding his frame and all that, but it could also happen when somebody, your friend decides to set you up on a social experiment and then shows you that you would get hundreds of matches in a week and then all of a sudden that little she-hulk hypergamy fear of missing out goes ooh what could be things were good before but i didn't realize all of the options i had and now that little gremlin comes up and now it's going to be waiting to pounce whenever she's not happy with this Adam guy anymore. It's like, it's gonna be extra ready to pounce now. <laughs> Trying to reply to everyone, but it's absurd. Every, for every reply I send, I get another four messages and it's just, it's hard to keep track of. Time consuming too. I feel like I haven't seen you in three days. It's just like, I'm getting you boyfriends. I'm getting you boyfriends. <laughs> Horrible thing to say. <laughs> How did you guys go? How was the experiment for you? It was horrifying. Guys suck. They're the worst. They don't know how to talk to people. They say gross things. They expect you to do stupid things. Girls can afford to be picky in a sense um, because just the sheer weight of numbers of the matches and the people who are sending you messages. When we're talking numbers, uh, what, what, what kind of results did you have? Um, <laughs> over 700. <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> I mean, I know that women get matches, but that is, that is such a stupidly high number. I didn't even know that your phone would have the capacity, like the memory space to hold that many matches on the hard disk or whatever. 393 of them never messaged. Only 10% actually yeah. led with a decent line. Okay, so we're looking more at about 30 legitimate conversations that you're actually invested in somewhat. Even that, like 30 guys in a week who are giving you legitimate like reason to respond back to them is a crazy level of abundance. It was a, it was a, a bit. It was cool. <laughs> I started- hey, Look, okay, look at her energy. It was cool. <laughs> All right, over, even when they're saying that no, on a week, what was it? Over 700 matches, but even when he boiled it down to, let's just say there were 30 quality interactions. After all of the different, going back and forth, like totally just weeding out a bunch of guys, there were 30 quality interactions that she might have been actually, you know, interested in. There, 30 in one week of guys that she could talk to. And this is... Man, the dating game for women is so different. When I talk to women, it's so different. They they go on so many, I mean, the average girl, the average girl, when I say average in the very most average sense, has such abundance in this dating market, in her mind. Again, this is why the mindset has become so much tilted towards them thinking that every man is replaceable because of this um abundance they can get on online dating apps or social media all these simp guys ruin it for every, everybody man all right that that was uh very informative very depressing let's move over to victoria rose tell me what was your experience like pretending to be adam on this dating app so i matched with about about 30 yeah, about like 30 that. people as well um bit of an ego kick like to the nuts. His final matches, guys, were 30. About 30. Over 700? Okay, there you go. Yeah, there it was. <laughs> oh, man. So, the final numbers, guys, for this Prince quiz, the final numbers of how many more matches will she have than him? They did, they swiped for one week using each other's profiles. She had, she ended up getting, well, he did on with her pictures and profile, over 700 matches, and he got 30. Over 730. 
over 700 <laughs> to 30 matches. So the correct answer was D, tw over 20 times as many matches for her than him in one week. What a horrible experiment for this guy to go through. Horrible. Let me ask you this hypothetical question then. Based on what you've just experienced, in the instance that you two, for some reason, God forbid, did break up tomorrow, who do you think would have an easier time re getting a replacement partner? <laughs> By a factor of two, three, like how much easier? Can you talk about that? By the factor of I wouldn't need to buy dinner again for like a, a month. <laughs> I'm prettier than you. <laughs> It's grotesquely perfect. My head is gonna get so big I'm not gonna be able to get out of this apartment. It's just like, I'm getting you boyfriends. I'm getting you boyfriends. <laughs> horrible thing to say. <laughs> By the factor of I wouldn't need to buy dinner again for like a, a month. But I love her though. She belongs to the street. So sad, so sad, so sad. That chicken choice. She belongs to the street. You might have said you love that girl, but she belongs to the gang. And when she with me, I let her do her thing. Adam here to really get an understanding on female nature in the games that women play. Join my new program, Unplugged for Men. It's a continuously growing collection of these full length, ad free, uncensored red pill presentations to help men unplug from the blue pill matrix and learn the truth about women dating in relationships.